China's Nightmare Japan's $25 billion sea airport at risk of sinking by 2050 What will China do for airport construction in the aftermath of the sinking of Japan's Kansai International Airport? In this video, we'll talk about Japan's $25 billion sea airport at risk of sinking by 2050 and its impact upon China's airport construction. In Japan, a seaport valued more than $25 billion is facing a sinking crisis, and some engineers predict it will vanish from the face of the earth in 50 years. You are aware that its story contains a crucial warning for China. So, what exactly actually happened? More airports are urgently required in Japan due to the country's rapid economic development. Yet, Japan has a little land area, and most of it is mountainous and hilly. Japanese engineers were forced to construct airports at sea. Japan chose to carry out land reclamation in Osaka Bay, southwest of Osaka, to establish the world's first sea-floating airport. Japan Kansai International Airport In order to meet the development of the Kansai area in Japan, in 1987, the Japanese government began construction of the airport on the artificial island after five years of land reclamation. The project is divided into two engineering construction plans and includes a total investment of 25 billion US dollars. In the first phase of the project, the T1 terminal building was designed by the Japanese architect Tanaki Okabe and the Italian architect Renzo Piano. The main body of the structure is made of glass and metal and it has a length of 1.7 kilometers and a total area of more than 290,000 square meters. Simultaneously, a 3,500-meter-long and 61-meter-broad airport runway was constructed. Kansai International Airport was opened in 1994. Kansai International Airport began the second phase of its expansion project in 1996. A second airport runway with a length of 4,000 meters was constructed, and work on the T2 terminal building commenced. Finally, in 2012, all of the projects were completed and put to use together. Since the opening of Kansai International Airport in Japan, the Kansai area has drawn many tourists and businessmen who have come to invest, which has played a significant role in the growth of Kansai area. Kansai International Airport had around 31.92 million passengers in 2019. At the same time, the freight and mail throughout Kansai International Airport hit nearly 780,000 tons. Kansai International Airport has boosted the Japanese economy by more than 30 billion US dollars and created more than 380,000 local jobs. But it is unfortunate that this airport, which is vital to Japan, has faced a significant risk for many years since its construction, namely the airport's sinking. What exactly is going on? In reality, many engineers argue that Japan's choice of location for the airport's construction was incorrect because the seabed still layer beneath the man-made island is 15 to 25 meters thick on average and the seabed silt will naturally settle. Kansai International Airport in Japan is a floating airport constructed on an artificial island. The airport ground is just 5.3 meters high on average. The sediment beneath the seabed was crushed and sank. According to studies, the artificial island has sunk by more than 30 centimeters in 20 years due to the settling of bottom silt. It is still sinking at a 6 centimeter per year rate. Furthermore, as a result of global warming, the pace of sea level rise is quickening, which will definitely accelerate the rate at which the airport is flooded by seawater. According to some analysts, the relative speed disparity between the land, the airport sinking, and the increasing sea level will approach 30 centimeters each year. Within the next 50 years, the sinking speed will approach 12 meters. Japan has put up a lot of effort to keep its airport running. Engineers plan to place 906 columns and jack systems on the airport's base from the commencement of construction. When the island sinks, the jack elevates the entire airport while also constructing a high wall around the airport to prevent seawater from flowing into the airport. Yet, as the water level rises, the high level surrounding Kansai International Airport must be continuously heightened and widened. The Japanese government must continue to spend a significant amount of money to maintain the airport. But no matter how hard we try, sea level rise continues to accelerate. And some engineers in the United States still fear that Japan's Kansai International Airport will sink within the next 50 years. At the same time, this horrible absence served as a warning to China. What exactly is going on? Dalian is constructing a new airport that will be 2.7 times larger than the current one and will have a capacity of 43 million passengers per year. While China is delaying infrastructure expenditure due to concerns about rising debt, it is nevertheless investing in aviation, notably the development of the world's largest offshore airport outside the northern port city of Dalian. Dalian is a well-known tourism and industrial city in China. The number of passengers in Dalian has risen quickly over the last 20 years, and the original international airport has gradually become overcrowded. 
Due to the impossibility to requisition adequate flat land for the airport building in Dalian, China, much of the land has been used for urban construction or reservable land. To address this issue, China has agreed to invest 26 billion renminbi and learn from the offshore reclamation construction process used by Japan's Kansai International Airport to establish a piece of land in the sea measuring 21 square kilometers in size for the construction of a sea airport. Once built and operational, the airport will be the world's largest seaport, capable of handling 70 million passengers per year. Yet, given that Japan's Kansai airport is suffering the following crisis, why is China building an airport on the sea? Drawing on the experience of the sinking of Japan's Kansai International Airport, Chinese engineers realized that new technologies must be used to build sea airports. When Chinese construction workers are reclaiming land, they will conduct strict surveys on the seabed and try to avoid the location of artificial islands from the sinking silt layer on the seabed. In addition, China Construction uses the Tian Kun for reclamation operations and can absorb sand and crushed stones on the seabed and fill the seabed to form land. Dalian Jinshuan International Airport, located in the northeastern province of Liaoning, will be 2.7 times bigger than the existing airport and have capacity for 43 million passengers a year. It will be built on 21 square kilometers, or 8.1 square miles, of reclaimed land off the coast, nearly double the size of the Hong Kong International Airport, much of which was also built on reclaimed land. When various cements are used to cover the seabed, concrete will be directly poured in to form a stable foundation. Following the completion of the reclamation, Chinese engineers will carry out a number of operations on the artificial island, including tapping the ground, draining seawater, and testing the earth. Simultaneously, let the manufactured island experience a protracted period of geological subsidence. After guaranteeing that the artificial island does not sink further, groundwork on the airport will begin. This will assure the safety of the artificial island project. It is anticipated that China's Dali NC Airport will be built and operational by 2025. Dalian and Maritime Airport is a fantastic example of Chinese infrastructure construction that will play an essential role in the development of the Dalian area and boost local jobs. Chinese engineers utilize a variety of sand-blowing techniques to replenish the sea in order to minimize foundation subsidence and maintain the safety of the world's largest land reclamation project. But, it is clear that no matter how hard people strive to construct a big number of infrastructures at sea, there must be significant hazards in the future. Because, if climate change and geological disasters occur, the Dalian and offshore airports built by China may sink like the Japanese airport. Yet, similar events may occur in 50 or 100 years. Notwithstanding the terrible impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the global tourism economy, China is expanding its airport infrastructure. According to the Civil Aviation Administration Commission, it will add more than 30 by 2025, increasing national passenger capacity to 2 billion CAAC. Although some of the plans have been in the works for almost a decade, there are concerns about whether they should be implemented. According to analysts, such large investments are getting riskier as a result of regional economic differences and rising local government debt, particularly in Dalian. Dalian was formerly a leader in drawing foreign investment and international trade. When China began opening up its economy in the late 1970s, it was a popular investment destination for Japanese and South Korean electronic manufacturers, notably Hitachi. That's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos.